This town is getting ready for the Super Bowl. There are promotions with Pepsi uh, logos everywhere, and this is supposed to be Coke country. Heaven forbid. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will come for topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. So please check me out. is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. your colors fly <laughs> um, it's the uh, Olympics all over again this time with football renovating everything in this city for the last year and what you saw back there is uh, Centennial Olympic Park and what you saw was the uh, the rings those are spanking brand new and right now Olympic Park is closed and I'm disappointed but I'm excited and I'm hoping I can go to the uh, Super Bowl pavilion if not I'm gonna find out if I can get a press pass and see if I can promote this event because I think it would be worth it and I think it would be uh, super cool to uh, show America where I'm from and be part of a really big deal because uh, Super Bowl in your city that's like once or twice in a lifetime and this is something that I am a part of and I'm very proud of it. <sighs> the last time I was in here, they just renovated uh, this building, which is the CNN Center, and that was back in December for a conference which was across the street from the Georgia World Congress Center. And uh, it was loud and crowded in here and there were saws going and it was uh, very grating on my ears and I did not like it. Um, the subway people were being total asses. Um, sorry, but there's no other way to put it. Arby's. But uh, there are a couple of places uh, where people can do things for free 
in here, for instance, there's supposed to be all kinds of uh, really fun activities going on in a couple of weeks. Um, I heard that there's also supposed to be 10 days of uh, free concerts before uh, the Super Bowl actually hits. And I definitely want to uh, stay tuned and cover that event. And then uh, behind me was the uh, Super Bowl uh, experience and that's gonna be super cool. And then um, coming up in front of me and I'm going to show you in a minute the uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium where uh, the fans and the players and um, I guess Maroon 5, one of the, the teams or one of the, the musicians, uh, they're going to be playing the halftime and I like them. They play the song some nights. Uh, they're a really, really good tune, unlike Aerosmith or uh, Mick Jagger, who have played in the past. They're, they're just really nice to listen to. They're trying to find another band, but I think they need to find someone from Georgia. I know that they're low-key, but I think the Indigo Girls, they would be really good because they're from Atlanta. And then another one that would be really good to play at the Super Bowl would be the B-52s because they'd be high energy. Um, of course, we can't bring back the music of Ray Charles uh, because he's uh, been dead a long time. But um, one of the members, or a few of the members should sing I've Got Georgia on My Mind. Uh, that's what I would really like to see. So anyway, without further delay, here is Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I don't know if I told any of you guys, but I think I did. But I went to blog for an autism conference, which is put on by Future Horizons. And I blogged about it because um, I'm part of the Bloggers Network. And I'm going to be uh, taking the semester off. So I'm going to have a little more time to uh, read a bunch of books and have a chance to uh, write a bunch of reviews. So please be sure to check those out. But you can read a bunch of my blogs in the uh, the WordPress uh, page below. But anyway, I flew back uh, the same day or the same night that the conference was over and I was gonna stay over by the airport. But as I was landing and coming in, I could see the Mercedes-Benz Stadium from the air and the lights were changing all kinds of colors from the distance and it was just a really, really nifty experience to see. So. Um, if you guys fly in at night and you're coming to see this, uh, this is one of the things that y'all are going to want to look for uh, if you're flying at night is you'll see the Mercedes-Benz Stadium changing all kinds of colors. And um, I thought it was spectacular and <laughs> I thought it was something that I would never expect, but that'd be super cool. But, um... I'm wondering if they'll probably shoot off a bunch of fireworks from the top of uh, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They usually do anymore at these uh, big sporting events. So, uh, yeah. another stadium. This is the famous Georgia Dome. It was here when I came down in 96 to visit Aunt Lois with my family back in 
uh, again, duh, we'd go figure 96. And this behind me was not there. Um, fall 2017, uh, they uh, finished the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and they had the yeah, Atlanta United and the Atlanta Falcons playing at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And what they planned on doing was uh, demolishing the uh, old Georgia Dome. I can't remember how old it was, but I think at least 20 years old. But they decided to uh, tear the roof off and demolish the Georgia Dome, which they finally did in November of 2017. And though I was excited to watch it, it was one too early to watch in the morning and it was kind of chilly, so I didn't go. But then when I came to survey the damage after everything had been torn down it was absolutely devastating to see and i thought at that time it was ridiculous but people told me that uh, they'd worked in hotels across the street maybe at the embassy suites which is just right across the street right across olympic park and they said uh, the buildings were shaking when they were demolishing the other building. But I had watched them uh, tear down this building multiple times uh, in archived recordings because I wanted to see how they do it. So, anyway. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Well, that's it for tonight's edition of my vlog series. Uh, I hope you'll tune in to uh, Super Bowl Sunday this year. Um, anyway, um, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up. Also, be sure to uh, comment down below. Until next time, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'm signing off. Bye. Marta! <laughs> I can't get Big Marta up there! <laughs>